Riley here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. Stand up for your country. Before we get to the talking points memo, a couple of breaking stories I just want to bring you up to date on. Uh, Looks like uh, the Republicans are going to nominate Minnesota Congressman Tom Emmer to be speaker. He is what they call the House Whip. That sounds kind of ominous, but a whip is basically a rules guy. And he, um, or she, uh, alerts Congress people to what the protocols are and things like that in their own parties. So we tape in the late afternoon, as you know, um, and, you know, the Republicans are running around trying to get the votes. They need 217. Some people don't like them. It's the same old stuff. But we're on it. Secondly, a woman named Jenna Ellis, who uh, represented Donald Trump, Uh, in some legal matters after the 20 election, has pleaded guilty to Georgia election crimes. Apparently, she tried to persuade um, senators and legislators in the state of Georgia not to certify the election based on false information. She says she was given the information by other people, but in a court of law, that doesn't stand. She got five years probation. Now, I'm looking into this a little deeper. I'll have a little bit more for you tomorrow. Uh, But as the third person convicted in the Georgia case. And now the memo. The ceasefire people. Okay. Are they worthy or are they simply virtue signalers who know nothing? Here are some famous faces. You'll know them right away. Pope Francis, Channing Tatum actor, Alyssa Milano, activist, actress, Congresswoman Cori Bush, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. They all want to cease fire, okay? And they say, no, 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 we can't have the Israeli military go in and try to destroy Hamas. No, can't do that. Well, let's go to the casual count first. October 7th, 1,400 Israeli citizens murdered by Hamas. 1,400, okay? Almost 5,000 wounded. Israeli kidnapped and held hostage 222. Americans killed 32, most of whom were living in Israel. Americans kidnapped 13, as far as we know. Could be more. Palestinians killed and injured, we don't know, because there's no reliable information coming out of there. Hamas controls the information flow. You can't believe a word they say. Now, if Pope Francis had his way, I assume all fighting would stop, all shooting would stop. Now, do I criticize the Pope for that? No, I don't. His job is to be a man of peace. So he would like to see all the killing stop. That makes sense. But it cannot stop. And now we go out of theological musings into the real world. See, the Pope doesn't really live in the real world. He lives in the theological world. His job is to spread the gospel. He's not a politician. The others are whatever. I mean, the actors and actresses and the nutty Congress people we mentioned, I mean, they all have their own agenda. But anyway, if there were a ceasefire, that means Hamas remains intact. It isn't destroyed. So what's to stop it? from doing the same thing on Thanksgiving or Christmas or any day. Now, if you're an Israeli citizen, you got thousands of people want to kill you just a few miles away, armed with rockets, okay, because the ceasefire, there wouldn't be any capitulation of weapons. And that's not a way to live. You can't run a country like that. I mean, come on. And I wrote the book, Killing the Killers, and I hope you read it. If you haven't read it, you know, you got to get it. If you really want to understand how the United States annihilated ISIS and Al-Qaeda. We annihilated them. We didn't cease fire. Same thing as the Third Reich. There's no difference between the Third Reich, the Nazis, and Hamas. They both wanted to kill Jews. What's the difference? No difference, okay? 
So we annihilated the Nazi party. They surrendered unconditionally. We executed some of their leadership. We took all their weapons. And to this day, you cannot have any symbols of the Nazi party in Germany. It's against the law. So I'm not really understanding the ceasefire thing here at all. Are these people dumb? Are they? Maybe. Do they not know that you can't go in and butcher women and children and then have a ceasefire? As I mentioned yesterday, did we have a ceasefire after 9-11? We did not. The American people would never have stood for it. So anyway, um, to me, it's such a clear issue. But there's one more point that I want to make, and this is on the other side. Netanyahu and the Israeli government let their people down by not getting enough intelligence to prevent this thing. They have to explain that to the world. They haven't thus far. Now, when the Israelis go into Gaza, and they will, they can't kill civilians. But Hamas are going to hide behind the civilians. You see what they do. So it's got to be patient and surgical. You've got to obey the so-called rules of war that came out of the Geneva Convention. That makes it very, very tough on the Israeli military. Very tough. Because like the U.S. war in Iraq, you can't tell. Who's going to fire at you or shoot a rocket at you? Under the robes, you don't know. So it's a really difficult. So Israel's strategy has to be very selective. They've got to have targets dismantle. They're looking for weapons caches. Obviously, you got to hide those weapons somewhere. And then if they have identified Hamas terrorists, they got to kill them. But you got to take it slow. You can't be piling up bodies of women and children in Palestine. Because then you'll lose. Israel will lose. Israel knows this. But it's one thing to theoretically say it like I am. And the other thing is when you're walking into Gaza, it's dangerous. So Israel can win this if it is ultra careful and smart. I don't have to do this in a day, but you have to do it. And that's a memo. I hope I'm not excommunicated by Rome, but you know, I gotta tell the truth. And I think the Pope would admire me for doing that. I, he knows who I am. I don't know if he gets reports about what we say here, but he certainly knows. All right, so the New York Times admitting that it uh, totally screwed up its hospital, Gaza hospital report, by blaring a headline that Israel destroyed the hospital, which, as we now know, isn't true. So it is now verifiable evidence that the hospital was hit by a terrorist rocket. But the New York Times, when this all happened, um, boom, they said... Uh, Israel did it according to Hamas. According to Hamas? Come on. It's ridiculous. All right. Here's what I said shortly after the New York Times put that headline out there. Go. Now, there is a way to report a story like this. And you come on and News Nation did it. So you guys know. You basically say a hospital was destroyed. We have not been able to confirm who destroyed it. Each side is blaming the other. Is that unreasonable, Cuomo, to report the story that no. way? No, that's how you do it. That's journalism 101. Now, the New York Times knows that, but they did it anyway. But now they're apologizing. OK, put it on a full screen. Here's their apology. Quote, given the sensitive nature of the news during a widening conflict and the prominent promotion it received. This is the hospital headline. Times editors should have taken more care with the initial presentation, have been more explicit 
about what information could be verified, unquote. Yeah, okay, well, that's yesterday you put that out. Took you two weeks to figure that out? All right, now here's the reason the Times put out that editor's note. It's Jewish readership, very high, because the New York Times publishes just for liberal people. No independents, no conservatives. It's 100% liberal paper. Everyone knows that. That's where they make their money. Their Jewish readership is just furious. That's why they put out that statement. Now, maybe there's some editor in there who's contrite, but I haven't seen that person on any news program. Have you? I mean, if I'm the editor of the New York Times, I go out and say, I'm sorry. This should never have happened. Have you seen that? No. Yet, you go to bed and wake up thinking about it. Here is the truth. The system traps you in debt. High interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay it off. And insane inflation keeps you stuck paycheck to paycheck. Done with debt is your lifeline. Done with debt has a new strategy to help you erase debt faster and easier than you thought. It analyzes all the debt options you qualify for. They know how to reduce bills and cut interest rates. Their skilled staff of negotiators know how to get your debt out of your life without bankruptcy and without a loan. Done with debt are the experts in brilliant strategies for eliminating debt. Here's how easy they make it. Go to donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt.com. Let's go to the mail. Uh, We had a concierge member, Larry. Didn't the UN and the Pope do similar to what the actors did? Virtue signaling. They all want peace now that the terrorists have done their killing and kidnapping. Right. I mean, that's what the memo was all about. But I don't I'm not that cynical. I don't think the Pope is sitting there in the Vatican going, you know, I I, I want pain uh, to be come to uh, Israel. I, I, these people, including Pope Francis, do not understand the world, in my humble opinion. The Pope understands theology. He does. But he doesn't understand the world that we are living in now, where evil dominates over good. It does. D. Allen, Dallas, Texas, big O. The United States is funding two wars, Ukraine uh, and Israel. Which war is more important? They're both linked in. See, I didn't object to uh, Biden's speech where he equated Ukraine with Israel because they're all about world disorder. All right, Putin, a war criminal. How many thousands of people, innocent people have died because of Putin? War criminal. Boom, like this. Um, What he wants to do is just go in and subjugate nations. I'm going to do it. Okay, got to stop him. Hamas, flat out terrorists. Flat out. And it's not revenge, it's retribution. There's a difference. Dave Z, Tokyo, Japan. Hey, Bill, the media is obsessed with the 200 hostages being held by Hamas and expecting the Israeli force to change battle plans accordingly. As you report in your excellent book, Killing the Killers, terrorists are fond of killing hostages at the last moment before they're being rescued. The more value the media places upon the hostages, the more valuable they become to the terrorists. I don't know. I think that you have to try to get everything you can to get these innocent people away from the harm that will befall them. Man, every day harm is befalling them. I understand what you're saying, but the media can't ignore that. It's a huge humanitarian story, and it's also damning to Hamas. Who's holding the hostages? Now Hamas can say, hey, we're going to release all the hostages, but you can't come in here to Gaza. That's the deal. We'll make it a trade. No, that you can't do. Vince Alano, Illinois, uh, we didn't cease fire after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. The reason the world is in turmoil is because 
President Biden's brain is in turmoil. Biden's not responsible directly for Hamas. Hamas has been there long before. But you can make a case that Biden's weakness encourages disorder. And I have made that case. Mike Concierge, remember I had a friend come back from San Diego State after visiting her daughter. She had to explain to her daughter what was going on in Israel because she and her friends were clueless. Mm. Most college campuses are dialed into this at least somewhat. San Diego is a nice place. They might be surfing out there. I don't know. David, Matt Gates exposed the swamp rats in the Republican Party by ousting the speaker the same way Trump exposed the vast corruption in Washington. Oh, ah, well, OK, you're entitled to your opinion, but Gates did tremendous damage to the Republican Party. He did. Barbara Williams, Lake Oswego, Oregon, right outside of Portland. Nice place to live. Do you, O'Reilly, write all of your daily messages? I write everything, Barbara. We don't have writers here. Now, I do allow my staff to put out stuff, but it says staff writ. But my message, my columns, this program, all written by me. John Rintal, Savannah, Georgia. After finishing Killing the Witches, it occurred to me the real savages weren't the Native Americans, but the new arrivals from England. I had no idea of the complete lack of justice displayed. It is parallel to today's cancel culture, and we make that point, of course. I, you make an interesting point about the Native Americans and who was worse, the Puritans who were murdering people for nothing, or the Native Americans who usually said, look, you're not going to take my land over, I'm going to fight for it. I, I think I'm siding with you on that. All right, BillOReilly.com store. You want signed books for the holiday gift giving deal? Please get those orders in now. So my hand, which is gnarly to begin with, you know, I got to sign all these things. And um, I'm not whining about it. I, you know, but if you want them, I'm going to cut it off earlier this year, the signed book deal, because it, it just... There's so many that I have to do. So get that order in now. Last three days for the Fall Madness Bundle, Killing the Legends, Killing the Killers, book that I hope you read. I want you to read Legends, too. It's very entertaining. Any mug of your choice, $42.95. That is going to disappear on Friday. Word of the day, no honey fungal. <laughs> I love this word. Honey fungal. F-U-G-G-L-E. Combine them. It's one word. No honey fuggle. And writing to me, Bill O'Reilly. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name and town if you wish to opine. Right back with the final thought. If booking your own timeshare was difficult before, you know that lately it's been almost impossible. Most clients are shocked to learn that their timeshare is now available to the public, which severely limits booking options. Many owners are also upset that their yearly dues have nearly doubled during this maintenance fee season. For well over a decade, Lone Star Transfer, a family-owned company, has had the pleasure of helping thousands of owners legally and permanently get out of their never-ending timeshare fees. With an a rating at the Better Business Bureau and more than 900 five-star testimonials, Lone Star Transfer is a company you can trust. Lone Star Transfer guarantees the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. So please call today for a free, no obligation consultation, 855-551-7066, 855-551-7066, or check them out online, LoneStarTransfer.com. All right, here is the final thought of the day. So we have this concierge program, and we have thousands of people in it. And basically, you pay us a fee. You get a free book, Killing the Witches, or any other book I've ever written. We'll send it to you for free. And if you have a problem in your life, I will try to help you with the problem. It's like an insurance policy, a social insurance policy, for a very little amount of money. There are two themes emerging. 
And we answer the letters. You get a direct different email to us. And I answer within 24 hours usually. Two things. Most concierge members are unprepared for disaster. Not prepared. You've got to know that in every life, bad things happen. The only way to back yourself up is to have money put away to protect yourself. If you're broke, you are going to get hosed. You've got to have that fund. It's a disaster fund. The second theme is many, I wouldn't say most, of the concierge people who write to me want somebody else to solve their problem. That's not going to happen. Unless you're a kid, then your parents will come in. But if you're an adult and you're into a bad situation, you're going to have to get yourself out of it. The key is, how do you do that? That's where I come in. I tell you, this is where you go. Here's who can help you. But I don't have a magic wand to make it go away. You have to take it upon yourself to do what is necessary to solve the problem. But I will give you very specific guidance. A lot of people go, oh, no, I want somebody else to do it. Nobody's going to do it. Self-reliance, one of the most important attributes, and it's not taught in any school, and the progressives hate it, but you've got to have it. Thank you very much for watching and listening to us today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.